Welcome back. We'll see now LSNW using ad hoc method for the creation of vendor. In the last session, we have already seen BAPI ad hoc method. Around 70 to 80% concepts are same. Instead of BAPI method, we have to select the ad hoc. Initial configuration related to ad hoc will be same. So go to LSMW, Metal Management, give name master data and ad hoc vendor. Click on create. I already have first two combination. I'm creating the third one. Ad hoc vendor creation. It is already there. Let me give some other name. Let's say V ad hoc, vendor ad hoc. After this, go to setting, inbound ad hoc processing. Here, we already have created LSMW as a file port and LSMW as a partner. But even if you want to create a new one, go to maintain ports, put the cursor here, click on create icon, give the name, whatever we want to create. LSMW vendor. Here we have to give the function module name because when the idoc for this uh, file will be generated, it will be saved at this in this directory. And the file name either we can give the fixed name or it will get created to dynamically to the function model. So this function model will generate the file dynamically with the selected combination like directory plus the file name. So I generally prefer this one that is the message type and the document number. So I will go with this one. Anyway, I'm going to use the same LSMW earlier one, but I'm just showing the creation part. Go back. In the similar way, I'm using the same one, previous one, LSMW. Now similar way, we have to create a partner number. Here I'm using the logical system. LS logical system. So this name partner name should match with the logical system, which we create with T code BD54. In BD54, we create the partners uh, logical system. This we have created LSNW. If you want to create again new one, go to new entry and just give the new name. Okay. So this step I'm not doing again. After creation, we have to assign in SCC4 to our client okay let me use here lsmw only go back now the next step is in the main partner in last step we have only created this one so i'm continuing with this only lsmw Okay, so we have to create partner here and after this activate IDOC processing. Click yes, go back, execute, maintain the object attributes. Here select the IDOC and we have to select the message type. If you know the message type, you can press the control F here or if you want to see the detail, then go to go to T code WE81. Here you can see all the messages and you can select the required message from here. So I'm searching for the vendor creation. Okay, so here select F4. Control F. Let's put the vendor. So Kremas is used for the vendor master. So I'm going with the Kremas. Then select a basic type. Always go with the latest one. The basic type contain the segments and segment contain all the fields. Basic type. If you have any enhancement in your system, we can use the enhancement that is extension type. I love. Here I am going with the standard one, Kremas 
and the basic type press enter save once you save here in w20 automatically for this message type a partner role is added in the inbound parameter go back just check in the w20 again go to w20 so in logical system lsnw in the inbound parameter that is automatically created we don't have to create this again double click we can see the process code crei that is kramas vendor master now maintain source structure create with the name as zvend keep name here also short zvend vendor master already exists it says zv1 you can give any name oh at least four character let's say zvi dog save go back now maintain the source field if you want to see the all the source fields which might be uh, we use in this system just click on object overview click on table format or list format here you can see all the fields with the description the data type and the length so based on our requirement this is the first one is the message function by default we have to use 005 here and the nrd title the account group the country code the name one city etc we have to first decide what all the fields we are going to use in this process and maintain that okay so go to maintain source field i have already note down my fields which i required that is name one i required the sort field city postal code country id region and the language those fields i'm going to use in my process put the cursor here click on table maintenance press enter control v enter you can see the name one search term city postal code country key region id and the language key go back go back maintain structure relation now here based on the object which we have selected system give all the segments which are nothing but structures okay if you want to see the field details of the structure click anywhere here you can see all the fields which are available in that structure now the lfa1 e1 is the common lfa1 is the main table so i am going to use lfa1 either double click here or select this and click on the relationship it is already assigned okay so i am going to assign only lsm1 in my system and not using any other structure because i am creating only for screen data if you are creating the company code data then we have to use the remaining structure like lfb1 etc okay i am creating only initial screen data save go back maintain field mapping and conversion rule here for this msg fn when you are uh, creating a idoc or wapi for the creation of record always we can use the constant as 005 in the functions how to assign constant value select it click on constants enter value 005 similarly i am going to use the account group 001 let's go to sk01 first i'm going to use this account group 0001 vendor okay so that also i'm assigning as a constant if you want to pass through file then we have to add that file into source field this is the vendor account group constant 0001 now remaining field that i will map through the auto mapping concept with the source field name or same as the target field we can go for auto field mapping if it is not matching 
then we have to do one by one okay so go to extras auto fill mapping don't change any setting here press enter the first system is telling the land one key that is land which key is matching with this field accept the proposal the name one is matching with name one accept city accept postal code accept the region the search term and the language key autofill mapping completed done go back we are not going to use any translation or user defined routine here a specific file before assigning the file we have to create the data in the file so what i will do let's copy this transport and maintenance and data let's say i'm entering zafar1 search zafar city pune postal code 411001 country is in region is 13 that is a state id and the language i'm going to use is e let me create one more record similar zafar2 Now type city Mumbai four one one it is zero zero seven nine thirteen and the language E. I'm entering only this data on the screen. We have to copy this data and save in X in a text file. Always use a text file. Here I have one text file which I generally use, that is a source file. So I'm going to upload two records here. Save. Yes. Go back to LSNW. Specify file. Double click on legacy data. Select the file. Vendor details. Data for one structure as we are using only single structure and when we copy data from excel to type uh, text file it is by default separated by a tabulator from this we have to select the proper type format whether we have separated comma or no separator etc enter save go back assign file so as we have only one structure and one file so it is automatically assigned. No need to do anything. Save. Go back. Read data. So two records are read. Go back. Display read data. Enter. So this is the data which is read from the text file. As per our structure. Go back. Convert data. So your system will convert data as per the SNW internal format. Display converted data. So you can see the data is converted as per the SNW internal format for two records. First one is in green and yellow, and second again in green and yellow. Okay, if you want to see the record, click here. So you can see as per the internal format of SAP. Go back. We start IDOC generation. Here you can see the, the name of the file is mm underscore mdata underscore vind. As per our project, sub project, and the object lsnw.convert. Execute. File name transfer for IDOC generation. Enter. We start the IDOC processing. Execute. So you can see the green. Green means a success for us. And the ID is 53. And the IDOC number are 2204-2205. Either we can see the IDOC detail in the next step or we can create a new session. And in WE02, we can check that. Go back. Go back. Create IDOC overview. Execute. Execute. So you can see the two IDOC in the green. 
double click on the first one expand this do the idoc status and data records the data record you can see the data which we have passed this is the first one city postal code region etc and the vendor id is created as 306880 go to sk03 which is the id generated 80 is the first one and 81 is the second one first we'll check the first one that is 80 so you can see the data which we have passed from the text file first one is city pune and the first one so you can match our with our file okay now we'll check the second one go back double click on second add up expand the status record second one is 6881 check in the vendor master zephyr 2 city mumbai in the same we have passed in the dog okay so in this way in a very simple way we can use the ad hoc concept of lsnw here i use the vendor master but according to the business requirement we can use any object of the ad hoc for the processing in this way we done with this session thank you